Hey, what's up, you guys? So today's video is going to be about all the pops that are releasing at the same time as SDCC ones, but don't really count as SDCC exclusive. So let's get started. First, we have an 8-bit Batman that's colored like the NES game version of him. This is an Entertainment Earth exclusive and will be at their booth at SDCC and online as well. I actually have the NECA figure of him and he's really cool. I love both of these colors combined, which is why I have the 8-bit NES Jason as well. I'll be wanting to get this, but Entertainment Earth pops are usually easy to come by, so I can probably wait. Next, we get a golden black Megazord. I think this had gone on pre-order on a couple sites already, so it's hard to say where he's actually exclusive to. So anyone who has the regular and metallic Megazord might want to add this one to complete the set. We also get another Power Rangers character, and that is the golden black Alpha 5. He will be exclusive to bait.com. Bait exclusives have been pretty hard to get sometimes. I know the Bruce Lee ones have sold out many times, and speaking of Bruce Lee, we also have three gold variants of the man himself. One of them in which seems to be a new sculpt, so I'm not sure if we'll get a colored version of that one later on. We've only seen one of them out of box, however, but I have a feeling these will be pretty popular. Fugitive Toys also coming in with a White Lantern pop as usual, and this time it is of Kyle Rayner. There's a regular version and a glow-in-the-dark version, and of course the glow-in-the-dark one will be $5 more than the regular. I haven't been collecting the White Lantern line, I just have a couple of the Batman ones, so I probably won't get this one. I still need the Yellow Lantern Batman though. There was also a bunch of teases for the new set of Conan Pops this year. At this time, they haven't really been officially revealed yet, but there are believed to be Ant-Man Conan, X-Fighter Pilot Conan, Hellboy Conan, and Predator Conan. Honestly, not a fan of these this year. There's a lot more characters that they could have made that made more sense instead of these. I especially hate the fact that they used the old Ant-Man mold instead of the new one. I probably would have wanted it then if they used it, but this one just looks bad. Predator and Hellboy are probably the more interesting ones if that's how they'll actually look, but I'm still not a huge fan of these. I just really want that Joker Conan from 2016 SDCC. Last but not least, we get more Conan pops, but these will be at GameStop. There's a regular Conan, a Clark Kent Conan, and a superhero Conan. There's also a couple t-shirts as well. They've already gone up for pre-order online and in-store. I've already pre-ordered all three pops, so I'm set when I go on the GameStop on the 19th. There was also a Conan mystery box on pre-order, but no Funko items are going to be in that one. And just now, while I was editing this video, Funko revealed the 13th Doctor from Doctor Who. She's 1300 pieces, but don't freak out because she's first to market, which basically means she'll be available later on as a common. Funko has done this kind of thing before with the Batman vs Superman 2-pack and the Powerpuff Girls. Anyways guys, that's all that's left. I don't think there's going to be anything else to cover for SDCC, but with that being said, this will be my last SDCC video until the 18th when Funko announces where everything will be shared. So be sure to stay tuned for that. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.